Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And good morning So, I'm Wan Muhammad Daniel I'm Wan Muhammad Daniel bin Wan Azman is going to present about momentum As you can see, momentum is a mass in motion and any moving object can have momentum such as ball, a ball, and another ball is collide. That's we call momentum. As object change in momentum is equal to its impulse. So, do you know what is impulse? No, right? So, impulse is a quantity of force time the time interval. Uh, total system momentum is one of the most powerful laws in busy in the law of momentum conservation for collision occurring between object 1 and object 2 in an isolated system the total momentum of the two object for before the collision is equal to the total momentum of the object after the collision hi assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Norman Naim Bandung Izzam. Today I'm going to talk about momentum conservation. Conservation of the momentum is a fundamental law of physics. We state that the momentum of system is constant. Constant if there are no internal force and seen on the system. It embodied in Newton's first law that <laughs> initial apa? initial law uh, initial suppose we we have two interacting particle one and particle two with a different mass okay in conservation of momentum we know that initial total initial total momentum initial equal to total momentum final and this is the formula Okay, the formula is mass 1 initial velocity 1 plus mass 2 initial velocity 2 equal to mass 1 uh, final velocity 1 plus mass 2 final velocity 2. <laughs> this is example 1. So now let's we solve this question. So, the ball for A, we got 60 kilogram and the ball B, or we call it mass 2, we got 80 kilogram. So, um, and the U, 1, initial velocity, we got 40 ms and U, 2, we got 20 ms. So, this is uh, the final velocity. So, V2, we got 30 ms and we need to find V1, which is final velocity for ball A. So, we can use momentum conversion like this. M1, U1 plus M2, U2 equal to M2. 2 V2 M1 V1 Okay So let's substitute the equation M1 we got 60 And U we got 40 So plus M80 And we got 20 So M2 V2 we got 80 So M430 M1 and V1 M1 is 60 kilogram so and we get and 60 time with 40 we got 24,000 plus 80 800 <laughs> 20, we got 60 <laughs> 
hundred. So eight hundred eight hundred times thirty thirty four hundred and six hundred V one. So this this we can we can this two we can cancel and we get six thousand and six hundred v one so v one equal to one six six one one so and then we got v one twenty six point six seven m as negative one so that's we can conclude we can find with this formula we can find um u which is initial velocity we can find v which is final velocity and we can find mass of object which is a uh, mass okay that's all for me thank you